What is going on, Les? What's the crack? And welcome back to another subscriber showdown, episode four. This is an epic one. This is going to be some great games on display here from me and my opponent. Some good gameplay, some good goals, and an epic ending to it as well. So make sure you keep watching. If you guys do want to get involved, we are playing Aspect today. If you guys do want to get involved in this series, make sure and check out and keep up to date with notifications on and be subscribed on YouTube so you can see when I post and when I open up that open match lobby and then you'll be able to join with the password. So the first match, I obviously forgot um, to record. I forgot to press record on this when I was doing it. This is going to be the last episode where I don't do a live comp. So the production value and the face cam should be back if you guys are enjoying that or let me know if you kind of like the highlights package where i talk through my kind of thought process and some of the chances but i do think i will probably do more live comp to get some of my reactions because this was an epic match the first one was a really exciting game burning chances all around great goals um and overall just a very balanced game but i didn't show uh, the teams i will show the teams that we are playing with and the starting lineups and stuff in the second match as you will see towards the end or towards the middle part of this video and the end of this match uh, for match two we will show you all the teams and the starting 11s and the tactics and stuff like that um, but yeah this guy aspect obviously if you are watching man i really enjoyed this match you were a great player you had a really good team really balanced team um it was a very good player on the ball and this is why i'm kind of liking the subscriber showdowns mostly uh to just kind of play against guys that play different attacking styles i mean we all know how dream team is it's very sweaty it's very try hard um in episode three the last episode that i played um there was obviously a couple of issues if you guys hadn't checked out that video go back and check it out but yeah i will be getting a little stricter as i said in episode three i will be getting a little bit stricter with the team squad um because the team strength is basically so that we don't all have the same team you know i don't want this to be like a try hard type series i want this to be a bit of crack um where we have a bit of fun with it now lads anthony is still absolutely beasting for me he's just one of the best players in the game to dribble i can just get so unlucky there that would have been roof of the net i'd say it was going to be a banger but this guy obviously aspect was playing with ricardo charisma who he had my ultimate respect for he was spamming crosses in really skillfully he gets lucky with the goal there but he did probably deserve it on the first half performance that he had obviously i've got a goalkeeper that's like what 69 overall or 70 overall um which is going to be a big issue i'm going to have to change the squad around and get a more you know a more dominant goalkeeper in there i would say i'm probably going to have to sacrifice you know maybe ronaldo up front and maybe just lead the line with martial or whoever or else maybe sacrifice one of my center midfielders or i'm hoping not anthony because he is a joy to play with lads i was just having a bit of crack here uh trying to draw aspect in but he's seen it all before this guy knows what he's doing a beast of a player he does a couple of his own tricks and then hits an amazing ball to jota who's on the left flank beautiful ball into isaac but i do get a cross with ashley young to cover that no i have been practicing my free kicks lads so beware you are going to see a good free kick towards the end of this video but beware because if i do start to get the free kicks i will be you know i will be hopefully able to get back to my eFootball 2022 glory days of banging in the free kicks but nice little intricate passing here again i just don't get any interceptions or any bobbles my way it was just one of those games man where i just felt like i was never ever going to get the chance that i needed to, to to go through and again lovely play here i probably take the wrong option into ronaldo i get absolutely butchered now i don't know how i did not get a free here he got a free out i was raging at that one man the face cam would have been hilarious but i was recording this really late at night now look i don't know how that's not a penalty, man and that would have changed the game because it would have been one all um and i think that i would have kind of went on from there but again in the 85th minute Isaac gets through on goal I don't have enough pace at the back with PK PK is a big issue for me with this squad so I am going to have to change the squad a little bit I think and Isaac puts it in into the back of net uh, rubbing it in as he celebrates there but yeah I mean well deserving of it aspect was well deserving of it uh, the subscriber definitely takes the plaudits for this one because he just ripped me on the wings my team needs a lot of work lads I've got Ashley Young at the back Raphael as you can see PK just a very poor kind of center back partnership there now martinez comes in today as you see there um this is his team that he was playing with so he had a very kind of he had a very good team i mean he had a really good spine to the team you can see there center forward dmf uh timber at the back marcelo left back and then the goalkeeper was really good as well he does have a team um he does have a team strength of two two four three 
uh, which obviously was going to be, you know, a different. Uh, we had we had set the we had set the the team strength to. Uh, we might take a look. Sorry, Les, I'm, I don't know what I'm really saying here, but we might take a look at kind of upping the team strength a little bit. But two two five zero, I think, is a nice balance because you can get a couple of players in the high eighties, but you still do have a lot of players that you have to kind of work hard with now. In the first couple of epi or in the first couple of uh, attacks in this game, I just felt like I was, I just felt like I was in a lot more control as to what I wanted to do. I made a couple of changes, obviously, uh, slight tactical changes where I was going to be playing out wide. I obviously brought in Martial, and Martial was obviously on top form. He was going to be buzzing around the pitch. Intercepted there from Sergi Roberto. Timberg doesn't cut across. Beautiful ball in, and Ronaldo second time of asking. He does not miss those headers, lads. He is good for a score in one of them a game if you give him the ball. And Cristiano gets us off against Aspect here and he celebrates with Martial and Anthony. And that's kind of where my strength lies, is getting balls into the box, using my wingers, quick passing, bit of possession thrown in, a couple of skills, and then obviously just running at the defender. And I just felt like I had the upper hand in this game for most of this episode in the first match it was very different to the second or to the first episode that we got Raphael just get unlucky there I was just about to pop a shot off but I do get a free kick on the 17th minute and it's a kick from Swedberg into Raphael he kicks him right into the groin but we were going to have a pop with De Maria here and I don't beat the wall and I was a bit disappointed with that I mean my free kicks with Ronaldinho in eFootball 2023 were really OP like I was scoring a lot of free kicks but I haven't been able to score them for a while now we do get a, a nice rattle off there but yeah I just felt like I was in control obviously Aspect as I said great player really strong side I mean he definitely had a better team than me a better balanced team obviously I had Ronaldo and Anthony but you can see here that his just his movement everything of his players he did have a slightly better team than me I think because he had a very good focal point in Isaac he had a really good goalkeeper at the back and then he had Timber there as well so we do eventually get one more free kick and I said if I don't score this one I'm going to actually just lose it and rage so we give it a little bit more power give it a little bit more zip and curl and we do bang it in at third time of asking across two games De Maria gives us our 2-1 lead back our one goal up lead and from there we just started to control the game but we did actually make a couple of mistakes such as here like these are chances that usually I would do a lot better here like obviously with Anthony you know the things like that like I would have taken usually another touch on that but I just wasn't really playing at the races maybe I was a bit tired I'm making excuses now but uh, I just wasn't playing I just felt myself that I wasn't playing well I wasn't really you know getting the passes that I wanted to play and I really enjoyed playing against this subscriber because he was playing kind of different breakdowns he was doing driven crosses driven passes touch and go possession based play dribbles overlaps it was a really enjoyable game because you're not just expecting Haaland or Mbappe or Romario or something to be up front to get you a goal you kind of have to build the play and see what I'm giving him now he does get a lucky lottery goal he probably did deserve it maybe he deserved it but Isaac again 93 overall he is like probably the best player on the pitch obviously my Cristiano is only 86 overall I hadn't leveled him up at the time of recording this I have since leveled him up so I'm going to have to make a decision whether to keep him in the squad or not and maybe take out a couple of players and lower the squad overall but it's a good strong header and Amos is never going to be saving that lads. he's only 69 70 overall um, so that is obviously you know a big issue there that I need to have to rectify you know I'll probably have to play De Gea if he's up in form but yeah you'll just see I was making a lot of mistakes but I just kind of felt like there were still chances in this for me to actually get ahead and get a third goal and maybe get the winner and I just started going for it man I just started really attacking really trying to make my passes stick but it was it was a it was a tough one I've been finding myself playing a lot differently maybe it's in my head that I don't want to play like really try hard that I'm like not missing you know I'm missing passes that I would normally take um but what about this for a goal from Anthony he just does it all by himself little cut back in onto the left foot and buries it 3-2 we're back in the lead one of my favorite players to play has done it for me again one of the best players in the game for me has got me out of this hole on the 64th minute and we do celebrate wildly there i wish they'd update his hair his hairstyle though man he looked he'd look way better with his tattoos and stuff um but yeah he's unbelievable man i think that the left footed like right wing players right side the players are really really strong this year so you know we're in the 89th minute 
We're cruising along down the wing here with Martial. I decide to get one more chance. Good interception from Roberto. He gives it out, and I'm thinking, oh, this is just typical now. I'm going to concede right at the end. I'm thinking, if I'm playing Dream Team there, I'm fouling. You know what I mean? But I don't want to I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be a tryhard. But we do get the tackle in with Fred. Fred the red, and he does save our blushes because I probably should have just fouled and taken the yellow card there. But, yeah, third game, all to play for. We didn't have penalties or... Uh, extra time on third game we had a, go a game each so he won the first game obviously and I won the second game and it was all to play for so I just wanted to kind of you know have a really good settle down in this game it was a really tense game this was obviously winner takes all unless we were going to share the spoils with a draw um, but yeah I didn't want to lose this one man especially after the last victory that I had so I was a little bit more um, you know, making my passes stick. He had a really good chance here with Sergio Berto coming in. Again, he just gets lucky with the little interception. That is the problem. I think I've cost myself maybe three goals in this entire uh, series of matches by having such a bad goalkeeper in goals. I think I should probably take Ronaldo out of the team, you know, have Martial as my lead in the line, and then probably get De Gea in, who's going to be 83, 84 overall. Um, or maybe a bit higher because you know I can't be conceding goals like this if that's Donnarumma or De Gea or Courtois or whoever if you're playing with it with uh, Dream Team I don't think he's 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 spilling that ball now it was a good cross in but um yeah a bit of mess and then at the back on the 53rd minute I don't really know what he was trying to do here if you are in the if you are in the comments below aspect let me know what you were doing here because I was delighted when I got that goal because it gave me a foot in the game and to be honest with you lads I was playing very passive because I didn't really want to lose um, and I probably shouldn't have done that I probably should have just stayed playing the way that I was playing I think I was overthinking it that I didn't really want to lose the match again my goalkeeper is just there for the take and that is the, the real weak link in my squad at the moment lovely pass out here Martial does a little trick gets past Roberto waiting for the on runner of uh, Ashley Young doesn't come De Maria with no energy left beautiful turn and the finish isn't there and I think if that was you know him playing that shot against my goalkeeper I think that that's the winner so I was lucky enough to hold on here but last chance of the game Martial usually I would swing this in I just get caught in possession again I get the ball back push him out away with my big arse and then it's a save uh, with the defender so yeah it was one of those games where just we just couldn't be separated man he got a win I got a win this is the best episode I think I've played so far in terms of tit for tat in terms of like you know it was literally a kick of the ball in it um, and this is kind of what I want the series to be you know not really try hard but obviously have that competitiveness there and that you know want to win uh, mentality there but then at the same time you know having a bit of crack with it trying different things very even he was a great passer of the ball really good possession based player so aspect appreciate the games man we will settle this again we are going to end it there and that is it for episode four of our subscriber showdown if you guys want to get involved make sure you're following on twitter and on youtube for when we next post our open lobby peace